Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's your boy Frank with another DIY. So today I'm going to be working on my Navara as usual. Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll be working on that Ford Raptor. It has uh, some issues with the oil lever sensor. So I'm going to run the diagnosis just to show you what's happening. And we will see from there which repair will be contacting us on this vehicle. Stay tuned. So I'm right now inside the vehicle. I'm just turn on the ignition, as you guys are seeing over there. And I have my diagnostic tool. So let's go ahead and check which is the error that this vehicle is throwing up. So first of all, guys, that's the error that the vehicle was throwing, the P250, a 250D engine oil level sensor circuit high. So my guess is obviously the circuit on this sensor, it's broken so that's why it's not reading up and it's throwing the error even if we try to uh, clear the code it was not going away from the PCM so as you guys saw on our diagnostic tool we saw the error and to fix out the issue we are going to be using this part so you will see that there is the part number right there which is this oil lever sensor so I'm just going to show you right now where it's located so for the oil sensor you can see it is located just right there let's try to focus just right there so that's our guy and you guys can see that we have um the starter on the way so the starter is that big guy that you guys are seeing over there <sighs> so it will be painful because we will need to remove the starter in order to disassemble and it's a very tight spot just right there i had to remove the wheel in order to have access so you can see the suspension components just right here and with this we now have better access to the sensor itself so i'll go ahead and disconnect um the the wire the wiring i will just connect to the newer one and check if we do have errors again you guys can see right there i just temporarily connected the um, the new sensor so what i want to try to do with this just want to try to check if there is uh if i can delete the error once i have uh the new sensor installed before i go ahead and actually remove the starter into the job so back to the diagnostic diagnostic tool went through the pcm and deleted the code so this time we managed to actually clear the coach which means that the problem was with the sensor itself so we could go ahead and start to disassemble the starter and everything that's around because at least at this point we are sure that the problem was with the sensor itself to remove the starter itself you need to remove this bracket which, which is being held by these two 10 millimeter bolts and once you have that done you will see it will reveal two bolts you have one here on the bottom and another one just right there on the top so with this you can go ahead and remove those 13 or 14 millimeter bolts and you should be able to push out the starter i also disconnected the wires that uh the, the, the that calls the starter which is this small one and the positive from the battery which is this bigger one which is being held by those two bolts and of course you need to disconnect your battery in order to do this and just like that after some exercise we did manage to remove the first bolt so we have to do the same on the top so for me this ended up being easy using this adapter as you can see it's flexible here on this side so i managed to easily insert it from here as you can see insert it in the bolt and remove it and just like that i just broke loose uh, the the bolt and voila so we just have right here the bolt removed so with this we should able now to push to move the starter to the side and we should be able to take out the eight millimeter bolt that we need to take off so as you guys can see right there 
I just moved the starter out of the way. So being said, I should be able now with a eight millimeter to remove that bolt and uh, remove the sensor. Even though I have the starter removed at this point, I'm just fighting to insert this key so that I can be able to remove it, to remove the oil sensor. So this is a eight millimeter socket that I'm trying to insert in there so I can be able to extract that bolt because otherwise it's tough for us to move the starter even to the top because of the axis here it would be very easy if we could remove the oil oil cooler but that's not the case so we'll still keep fighting until we manage to remove the bolt and i believe that now just do like this it's coming out oh this is so painful oh man that starter is just sitting on my hand above my hand but I think you can see just right there inside the bolt it's coming out at least and voila ah. there you go we managed to remove the bolt and now I just need to remove the sensor and we got it, we got it guys. It's almost there. Oh, come on. Oh man. I got it. Whew. Jesus Christ. Man. Whew. This was really, really tough guys. Man, but we got the sensor out. So just like that guys, we managed to remove the old sensor. So this is the old sensor that you guys are seeing over there, which was failing. And um, by the way, when I was trying to remove, as I showed you, it broke the lip of the connector right there. And this is the brand new, um, the brand new sensor that we will be installing. I'll just coat a little bit with oil on those two O-rings before I go ahead and install. So as I mentioned to you guys, go ahead and add a little bit of oil. <laughs> the dogs are here playing. And uh, wipe up, wipe out, wipe out the area and go ahead and fit the new sensor. So we managed to insert the new sensor. So what I did was to point the band towards the um, starter on the top. So it has a band like this, right? So I just inserted back uh, into the starter and I then lowered. Let me just show you with the, the actual one. So as I was saying, guys, you see that it has this band. So what I did was just to insert it like this behind the starter and then slowly insert it into the hole. And just like that, we managed. So I just put up the bolt uh insert the connector insert back the starter put back everything where it belongs and we should be good to go and just like that folks uh i believe you guys can see we already installed the connector the starter is already back into place and all the the wiring is also in place so now i believe that i can go ahead Start up the vehicle, check for uh, errors, and uh, make sure that everything is looking good. And just like that, folks, we managed to sort out the issue with this Ford Raptor. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please do not forget to leave your like, your comment, subscribe, and I'll see you around. Cheers!